engineer's work is often invisible. When I chose engineering, it was about wanting to improve processes in order to improve the lifestyle of the people. I am Tessa Gan with Defence Science and Technology Agency for the past 17 years. Currently, I am a program manager for the littoral mission vessels. In DSTA, we are to deliver naval vessels for the seaward defence and maritime security of Singapore. I derive great satisfaction in being able to solve complex problems and that, in essence, is engineering. On a day-to-day -day basis, my team and I also go down to monitor the progress of the ship. It is very exciting to be able to see the ship take shape from the keel as it is being built up. In the course of my work, I've had the privilege to travel around the world to conduct tests on components and equipment for the different vessels. This allows me to learn from different people, from different cultures, and understand different operating concepts and design methodologies. My favourite project was the Frigate Programme. I was involved as a young engineer then and was able to learn working with established design houses. It was eye-opening to be able to see the level of detail that went into the design and I learned that what went into the ship could be vastly different from the design on the paper. Some of the misconceptions would be that engineering is a very physically demanding job and that it is also a male-dominated environment. This is not true because engineering requires a lot of teamwork and essentially it is a team that would be able to pull through to deliver the product. An advice I would share for young engineers wanting to come into the public service is there are many opportunities and diversified projects that an engineer could work on within the public service sector. And in keeping an open mind and being willing to learn, you'll certainly take you a long way.